Hello everybody, this is Matt from Mtrade. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will break down one of the swing trade that I closed my position last week with $1,500 profit. Uh, as you guys can see, I mentioned here. Uh, so I will explain what was my confirmation to enter to this trade and how was my game plan and how the trade ended up. Uh, before I start on my video, please make sure uh, to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Instagram accounts. Uh, so Nike, I'm watching one year Monday chart. Uh, so as you guys can see here, I have my support and resistance line and I have drawn trend line here. This is the exact setup I jump on this trade as a swing trade a couple of days ago. So we do have a resistance line. We do have a support line. We do have a trend line here. Whenever I draw green broken line, that means that that's my trend line as a resistance that there is a potential to break it. Uh, and as a resistance line here also, I have one more green broken line. That means that there's a potential to break it. Uh, and the red and the another red is my uh, trend line and support line here. So we do have a triangle here in one year one day chart. I watched this trade uh, in a bigger picture. So we have a triangle here. Uh, I was expecting great, great uh, breakout in one year, one day chart. And the earning report actually uh, was about to come uh, in a couple of days ago. So uh, I was patient uh, about this trade and I, I, was, I didn't jump on this trade and I was expecting it's going to drop more. And the drop actually did happen, but I saw that it didn't hold the trend line very well here and it did broke. It broke it uh, down in the pre-market hours for that day. And we had a support line here also, which I didn't draw. Uh, the buyers really were interested in that area and they actually jump on this trade. So I saw that the buyers are interested on this trade, on this stock. So stock, even though stock price opened below the trend line, it could actually break over end of the day. So I still didn't jump on that trade and I was expecting that, okay, the stock is doing well. I'm expecting it's gonna draw, uh, I'm expecting it's gonna break the EMAs. And whenever it's tough to uh, play over the EMAs, that can be my confirmation as a, uh, that, that can be my confirmation to, to jump on this trade. So I have a green broken trend line here as a resistance also. So it did uh, break over EMAs, which are red and blue lines here. And it could actually break over the uh, trend line, the green broken trend line. Here. So that was my confirmation. They broke out, the, the breakout happened. Uh, I jumped on the trade around, I don't exactly remember, it was like $133 or $132 uh, with 70 shares. Uh, so I got my confirmation. I jumped on this trade. Uh, and the next day, actually, after market hours, the earning reports, I did know that the earning reports is going to happen. And to be honest, we never know how the earning reports are going to come out. We just can predict it or we can have expectation. I wasn't rely on the earning reports uh, because this stock by itself was looking pretty strong to enter uh, as a confirmation, but still uh, earning reports play very uh, very very good role in a trade so it did actually help me a lot because the only reports came out very good and the buyers were really interested on this stock and the volume went up so so i was already in a trade i enter here whenever it break the green line in this area after the market hours the next day after market hours the earning came out very well uh and the buyers jumped on the stock price after my in after my market hours went up around one fifty dollar, uh, and I still didn't exit. I could exit in after market hours. Uh, the reason that I didn't exit, there are how type of uh, jumps in a stock price. Uh, I don't like the stock price whenever the stock price uh, goes up ten dollar just in a uh, matter of minutes or uh, seconds. Uh, because uh, that immediately looks overbought for me and I believe for other uh, traders also. And we can expect a pullback uh, or strong pullback. But this stock price jump $10 uh, in a couple hours 
very uh, by touching to emails very respectfully. That's what I love to see. Uh, so I saw that this stock is under control of traders, actually, uh, and the stock is giving uh, higher highs, higher lows. Very good. Uh, so because of uh, those uh, confirmations for uh, those confirmation as to stay on a trade, I didn't exit this trade. Uh, so and I still was waiting, and I did believe that. Okay, if the stock price went around one forty eight dollar, we have a resistance line here. I was watching it. I mean, trend line as a resistance line. I was watching it in after market hours, so I saw that it's coming through that resistance line pretty strong. Uh, quickly, I will make sure why I have this trend line here. So in my year one day chart, I draw this resistance line, uh, this trend line, to make sure where is my resistance line. So as you guys can see, I touch here this candlestick here uh, and also other couple important points that uh, I have to uh, take here. So uh, that trend line was very strong trend line here. Uh, and I saw that, okay, it's coming through that pretty strong, pretty, with pretty high volume. And I got a confirmation to say in a trade more. So it could break that uh, trend line very good in the same day. Uh, so I was pretty sure it's going to hold it in the pre-market hours next day. So I did an exit of the trade and I held my position. The next day market opened <coughs> uh, and it did hold that area uh, in the pre-market hours and whenever the market opened, the stock price went up uh, around, I believe, one fifty dollar and that's where i did exit out of the trade i just saw that it's really hard to uh it's really hard to move for the stock so i exited around 140 154 dollar i don't exactly remember it was like 153 dollar 80 cent or 90 cent uh, around this level uh so i had a as i mentioned seven shares uh so i closed my position uh so Stock is still doing very well. Uh, the next day also, not next day, after two days, which is today, stock again went up to $156, which actually I do not care. Whenever I close my position, uh, I wouldn't care actually how the stock is doing after that because I always mention about these guys, even though, even though the stock goes up like $10 more up, I wouldn't be set to close my position because we are a uh, we uh, we are, we are traders and we have a game plan and the best thing for a trader is to set up a game plan and follow the game plan. So we have to follow our game plan instead of just feeling uh, bad after exiting the trade that okay this stock went up five more dollars. No, trust me. In the long term, this strategy is gonna uh, show you a lot of benefits compared to just feeling bad. So. Uh, just make sure whenever you enter to the trade, you have a solid game plan and you always follow the game plan. It doesn't matter. This can be uh, in an uptrend or downtrend with profit or with loss. Uh, and losses are very normal in this uh, business, in the trade. Uh, we just have to accept the, uh, each trade that we take. And we have to see the, I like, personally, I see my each trade as my new business. So. I'm more swing trader, so whenever I uh, enter to the trade, I see that as a, a new business. Uh, so I see like uh, I'm entering to new business. So uh, with a solid game plan. So guys, uh, definitely make a game plan and follow the game plan. That's the best thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you do have any other question about this chart, this setup, uh, this trade. Please feel free to contact me on the comment section or on my social medias. Uh, I will be more than happy to help you guys. Uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.